XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and you know, you like people who are a little odd, a little dark, a little scary, then I suggest you go ahead and subscribe. And if you like what you see, hit that notification bell so then that way you are aware anytime uh, I make a new video. All right, what are we here with today, Audra? Well, Today is another new makeup nonsense bingo! bingo! Even Bo is excited! <laughs> and for those of you who do not know what new makeup nonsense bingo is, it is the creation of my very dear friend, Emily Hanhan, who's been doing this for quite a long while with Teresa is Dead, and on occasion, our dear friend Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips joins us, as well as many other creators. <laughs> And if you would, go ahead and check out the New Makeup Nonsense playlist in the description below. You will find a bunch of fabulous creators having fun playing New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. And again, I haven't explained what it is. Well, it's three things in one thing. All right, the one thing is this video. It is a Will I Buy It coupled with Bingo and Booze. What's up? Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you my bingo card, even though it doesn't matter because there weren't a ton of new makeup releases uh, in the past two weeks. Again, I feel like we're like in this lull, like outside has opened. And let me just tell you a quick story about outside. Um, I need y'all to check on your introverted asocial friends like myself because we're not happy. We didn't want this. We were thriving. Okay, do you know how nice it was when we went to the store? No one was there. No one was bumping into us. We were just wandering, getting our things. We no longer had to power walk with like a plan to go grocery shopping. Yeah. Also, just, I mean, just prepare yourself that this video is gonna have a lot of this bow, bow shit. But anyways, whilst I get settled here, <laughs> let me show you the makeup that we are working with this video. <laughs> So Spectrum Collections just released the Core Cosmetics Collection, which looks like a titty, uh, like a small t titty, like a small, t and you open it and then you dip your finger in the titty. Uh, <laughs> I'm like looking at it I'm like, okay. Cause when I saw this, I think when, I feel like I'm one of the people, I'm the one who picked this and popped this in because I just thought the little titties were interesting. Like that's really it. Like, they're pinch pot cream blushes for freshly pinched cheeks with a balmy skin like finish. Um, I probably won't mess with them because it does have a blend of avocado avocado and argan oil. For those of you that do not know, I I cannot get avocado oil too close to my eyes. Uh, it, it's like puffy, it's a whole horrific reaction uh, that I had to work with a friend of mine to find out how that happened. So I'm not into that. They're also $25. Now I know that price is subjective and what's expensive to one person isn't expensive to the next, but there are so many inexpensive blushes. I just recently did a video um, where Shop Miss A had sent me a lot of stuff. They have a lot of inexpensive cream blushes if you want to use them. I know we're having our issues with e.l.f. these days, but still, if you don't have any problems with shopping from e.l.f., Elf has cream blushes. Do you know what I mean? Like there's inexpensive cream blushes. So it's just like, I can't, I can't even fathom like where you get off 
with $25. We're just gonna hope the guy with the horn doesn't come driving by because there's literally a guy who has a fucking train horn on his damn truck. And when he drives by here, he toots it and I hate him. Moving on to the makeup. It, it, the, it flame, flames, flames on the side of my face. Like, I think that these are cute and I feel like, I don't know, do y'all feel like cream blush, like, like the moment has passed? Do y'all feel like that? Like, I feel like, cause here's what I'm gonna say. I feel like quarantine gave us like a, like a different view of cream makeup, right? Because most of us know, realistically speaking, that cream makeup isn't super duper lasting. And like understanding that like a face full of cream, trademark, understanding that a face full of cream isn't gonna really last you through like an eight, nine, 10 hour work day. It was great for quarantine, right? Just like put it on with your fingers and do your little thing and like be like sitting in your house in your fucking best looking dress because you had nowhere to go but you wanted to put the dress on. More power to you. But I just feel like, like I'm wearing cream highlighter right now, Ritual Defeat, and I'm telling you, like, even though it doesn't really bother me, oh God, it's so pretty. But even though it doesn't really bother me a lot, like the more humid it gets here in Texas, cause it's raining and raining and raining, the less interested I am in like consistently wearing a lot of cream makeup. I just, I feel like it's, it's had its moment. But they also have like a mascara that's $23. I cannot say anything negative about expensive mascara uh, because honestly, like I've spent a lot of money on mascara before. Sorry I keep playing with my cleavage. I, I have it out. Uh, it also has like a glowful mist that is, it illuminates and hydrates skin, which to me, it's just, it's glitter. It's a glitter spray for your body. Uh, and then a glowful primer. Like I wouldn't use a glowful mist on my face because I, I feel like it was iconic London. And I hated that. <laughs> like I would go back and forth between loving and hating it and it would just depend on like if my look was too matte, then I loved it. But like when it was glowy and dewy, I hated it because it was just, now I just look like I had eaten way too much spicy food and was about to have to hit the bathroom because things were gonna go bad back stairs. <laughs> But I, they, they have a Glowful Primer that's $25. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I, it's all right, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, it's, there's nothing that I haven't seen before. And I think that that's the other thing, is with quarantine, I feel like we all got like makeup fatigue. Like we truly didn't know how much shit we were getting that was just like the same as other shit that we had. But in quarantine, we really started looking at it and be like, bitch, I've seen this before. So let's see what we have for that on <laughs> the bingo card. Because I feel like, I don't know, I just, it, I'm not inspired. I actually don't feel like picking up literally any of it. I don't think that I have like a particular thing for it. We need to have, I think we're gonna have to add a square that says we got creamed. <laughs> don't look at me, okay. We're gonna move on to the next item. I've spent enough time here. Boo da doop, ba beep ba. Okay, so next up we have um, KVD Kendo Vegan Vegan Kendo Do Well, Do Good, Do Gooder Beauty. So we have that. <laughs> and it is their Planet Fanatic palette. Okay. I, okay, <laughs> I'm trying here. The pa I absolutely hate the packaging. I know that there are people who will like it. I think it's weird that they put stars on it because you know why, but there's like stars, it's clear packaging. There's something about this that very much screams like Claire's, like, like I am a teenager and this is like the first, like not even a full teenager, like I guess a nine year old because apparently according to TikTok, these young ladies are not even going through like a prepubescent stage. They're just children and they're grown. I'm very disturbed by that, by the way. But I feel like this would be something that you would give to your kids. Like, I don't feel like this is something that you give, like I wouldn't buy it. Now, if you like it, you you do your thing. I, I'm not inspired in any way. And I like, I understand like the, the thought process, like, oh, it's clear so you can see that you want to use it, I guess. But like, there's, it's very boring. 
honestly the most interesting shade in here don't cover me is this like white shade it's permafrost that's the most interesting shade in here because it's just so white it's like so like that I'm like, ooh, I can create like a lot of like weird dark queen looks, like unlike this gorgeous mermaid look you're seeing today. Hmm. But like, I don't know. I just, I don't know where they're going with the brand. I'm sorry if you can hear Bo aggressively licking himself. I don't know where they're going with the brand, but this just isn't it for me. I feel like it's just not doing anything new, different. It's not taking me to a new place. I'm actually gonna give this. A pro wait, mm, cop mm, major copycat vibes because I feel like it could for real just be like in Claire's and you wouldn't know the difference. Like you wouldn't be like, oh, that's Kat Von D. You, you would honestly just be like, yeah, that's Claire's makeup and not even think for a second. And I feel like they could put it in there. No tea, no shade. But like they really could put it in Claire's and nobody would know. So, so for MAC Cosmetics, we have the Botanic Panic Collection. Okay. Uh, and they have a botanic artistry palette, an extra dimension highlighter in Fleur Shur, and Royal Flush. They have two of, or no, sorry, the highlighter is in Fleur Shur. The blusher is in Royal Flush. And then they have like five lipsticks that come with it, one of them being lavender. I, okay. The rest of them are just like basic, you know, Betty shades, which I'm wearing basic Betty shit right now. I'm not, I'm not here to make fun of them for that. It's just, I, okay, the highlighter, here's the thing I, like, I don't, I really hate the highlighter. I'm going to start there. I don't like the highlighter. I think because that is a shade that does not work on most people. That's a shade that's not going to work on most people. Most people are not going to look good with that. Most people with that, is, they're going to have a strip of highlighter. They're just going to have, like, this stark strip and the only way to like not have that stark strip with that shade head on is going to be for you to like layer and do all of this shit so that you don't have like this stark strip i just don't understand what they thought they were doing and then like the blush i i don't i don't get it like how that's a blush it's shiny like yes you can have like glowy blush i'm not saying you can't but why would you have both of these things do you know what i'm saying like, why wouldn't you just call the other one a highlighter and just be like, we have a white highlighter and a pink one and move the fuck on with your party. Then we have the palette itself, which, gosh, it's like, I want to like it. I don't know. I feel like pastels have been done already and better. That's what I'll say. Pastels have been done already and better. And I feel like they're late. They're really late to the game at this point for a pastel palette. Like, not saying nobody wants a pastel palette. I just honestly feel like there was a moment where we were like, yes, pastel, and I feel like it was last year, and like everybody dropped their pastel palettes. We had a good time with it, and I feel like that moment has passed. Like we still, because you still have all those palettes, and a lot of us didn't even get to use them. So I'm just not here for it. I think that it could have been better. Like I just really, because the thing is the outside packaging is fucking, ugh, I want to lick it. Like it's so good. It's so fun. It's pretty. I love like all of the like beautiful colors. And then like what's inside to me doesn't match that outside energy. You know what I mean? It just doesn't match. So I am like the, the one lavender lipstick like, Toodaloo, good for you on doing that, but I'm not into it. I think that it could have been better. I just want them to do to do better. So. I will also say that I feel very confident that in countries outside of the US, they may really, really like this and because they might have access to it. Not saying that like, but I'm saying if you are from a country that doesn't have like ColourPop or some of the other things that that showed up, a lot of the indie makeup, this might be for you, for sure, for sure. Because like this, this might be for you just specifically because of that. So let me just throw that in there. I'm going to call this hmm. neutral with a pop of blue. Boom, shakalaka. All right, y'all. So Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics has re released the new Bad and Rougey collection. And listen, I'm not gonna lie. Also, we came in closer because I wanted to. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I watched like the first part of her video, um, like re like exposing it to the world. I made it sound like she just popped out a titty. Let me rephrase that. 
like doing her big reveal, right? Being like, whoop, whoop. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, that shit was dope. It was like, If there's one thing I'm gonna say about Jacqueline, excellent salesmanship. She's like just a wonderful salesperson, really gets out there like that. Like I, I almost got caught up because listen, it's a modern take on the ultimate cosmetic classic, Rouge. So it has three luxe blush formulas and a lightweight lip cushion, um, all in romantic Rococo inspired shades. So there's Mood Light Luminous Rouge, um, Rouge Romance, which is a cream to powder blush stick. Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palettes. Ooh, $45? Okay, hold up. Let me look and see. Because, like, one of them actually looks really, like, one of the blush palettes looks like something I might, I might could fucks with. Howsomever, here's the thing. I actually have, wow, it's a really big pants. I actually have my Juvia's Place. And I don't know, I might, I, listen, I might give this person a chance. Um, and move forward. Even though I'm not normally a person for any second chances, I never actually took the chance. So I might possibly take a chance on it. You know what I'm saying? Honey, I'm still free. Take a chance on me. Like, I kind of really like the way that the blushes look in both of the palettes. Like, the blush palettes look kind of... Because I like a matte blush. I'm sorry. I love a matte blush. I have on the Pat McGrath today. I just, I really like a good matte blush. It is nice because, like, I can make myself look as bright or as funky as I want to. I don't know, y'all. I just, I kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. I kind of think, listen, you know what we're going to go ahead and call this? Because this is the truth. Drunk me would, in fact, buy it. With, like without hesitation drug me would be like eh fuck it you know because I'm trying to I'm trying to be less of a judgy ass bitch and have more fun you know which y'all oh my gosh okay I don't want to hear any shit for this because we all know that your dark queen is bougie as fuck when I can be and I feel like I these are like my last my last waning moments of being bougie before I like have to let it all go so <laughs> Valentino Beauty. <laughs> I, I, I am enamored, okay? I want the foundation with like every ounce in my being. And I know you're like, Audra, why don't you just buy it? I cannot. I tried already and I went to Selfridges and it said, no, sorry, you poor shitty American, but we are not shipping there. And I was like, um, ouch, ouch, the pain. Like literally went there, shade matched myself, was like ready to go, ready to check out and like have my last hurrah before everything comes crumbling down. And they were like, no, absolutely not. You are not good enough. They, you know, this is why I need to move to the UK. But it's like the way my feelings were just like fucking, I was broken. I was like, how dare you? How dare you keep this? The foundation just looks so, like it looks like I, I feel like it's gonna look good on my skin, y'all. I do, I feel like it's gonna look so good on my skin. Like, I'm not lying. <laughs> Like, Valentino, how dare you? How dare you not ship to podunk fucking Texas? Like, I'd appreciate it. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna try again. We're gonna try one more time while I'm sitting here. Yeah. Because, like, Unavailable for delivery to the United States. You sons of bitches. All right, so we're gonna move on. What I'm gonna call this is, <laughs> put it on my face, please. <laughs> Y'all, all right, what do we have here in rainbow capitalism? So what we have is a live with love, or it could be live with love, depending on who you are as a person. So <laughs> I don't mean to be that asshole. Like, like, we all know, right? We all know that pride is like... 
There is no ethical consumption under capitalism, and if you want to buy things that are rainbow themed because it is pride, I welcome you to pride. Howsomever, Morphe released a humongous palette. Uh, it's huma. It's 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 large, and there's a uh, a big mirror. Do y'all see that this brown shade on this brown arm is like almost like you can't you can almost like not even see it. But I literally don't understand <laughs> the point of being like. Because it almost looks like they've skipped. They're like, the pink, the green, the blue, and the black. But no, the brown, the brown swatch is there. Unify. And it is unified with their skin tone. Which, you know what? Everybody has a different way of doing their makeup. Howsomever. I do, I'm also, honestly going to say that Go Forward uh, looks like a very nice shade. I do, like, I don't know how they're doing. I just don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't. It's a rainbow palette and it's also a Morphe palette. I'm trying to like hold, like every year, every pride, I hold on to myself and I refuse to allow myself to get caught up in a lot of rainbow capitalism. However, if there's small businesses that are doing things, like I'll pick some pride shit up then. Um, so here we go. It's it's an oversized Morphe palette. So we're, that's what we're gonna call it. Boom shakalaka, have a good day. That one was easy, that was easy. There was no reason, like it's a pretty palette and if I didn't have issues with, Morphe in any way then I would pick it up but I I think that I could get a rainbow palette from a brand I feel more comfortable purchasing from <laughs> speaking of giant palettes uh ColourPop for I don't know what's going on with ColourPop lately they've been on like a monochromatic but also big so they have the High Tide palette, which actually does interest me because I love, I'm actually way into, like, I love turquoise. It's my favorite color. I don't know if y'all know that, but turquoise is, like, my favorite color. And I like the, like, I like that feel, but I honestly, I should just try to recreate this my on my own. I think I have stuff to do it. I really do. I think that I have. I think I have, like, individual single shadows that I could just, I could make this, so I need to stop getting in my feelings um and then they have the lust for dusk which is just ginormous i don't know why it's 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 16 shades um but knowing it looks so big in comparison to the nine pans it's just like wow and you have fine feathered so it's like these three that have nothing to do with each other but like something like lust for dusk then high tide then fine feathered i don't really know why they're all together i feel like this color pop palette is like again this one, I feel like you have all the shades. I would say out of all of them, High Tide would be the one that I would pick up most because those are shades I wouldn't have from ColourPop. Not saying I don't have them at all, but I don't have them from ColourPop. So those are what, like, I would pick up that one potentially. But, you know, for the sake of bingo, it's a ColourPop release. Although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. It's unnatural. Ooh. Becca has their final launch, and it is their Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Palette. It's like a Pride 2021, and it's called hi angel and i kind of wish that they had named it by angel like that's just is that just me like like doesn't that make sense like bye i still don't know if it will work i truly don't know if it will work it's i'm just i'm like trying to situate myself uh, i don't really know if it will work like i don't i don't know i, I don't, what's funny is i'm like how is it celebrating pride <laughs> Because we're like celebrating pride with a new shimmering skin perfector, High Angel. But how 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 is it celebrating pride? Just like, hi. Uh, uh, it's an iridescent, one of a kind highlighter. Um, here's the thing: I have an iridescent. I have some iridescent highlighters. I have one from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. I have some from Terra Moons. I have some from Cleona. Like I, they're not highlighters per se. They're eyeshadows, but I can use them as such. You can do whatever you want with your makeup. I. And I'm sad that this is like the last thing that they're releasing because it's not what I what I what I what I wanted. I would have expected something. I just feel like there's stuff that already 
I don't like it. I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm a Becca stan. Y'all know. Y'all know I will sit there all day long and be a Becca stan and be like, I love Becca, but like, I cannot, I can't. It's just not like my cuppa. It's a, it's pretty, I guess, but it's just not what I would want the last thing to be. I don't have anything for that one. We're just gonna move on. I'm just really sad that the brand is going out, but I feel like it, shit happens, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't know how to, like, be polite. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> All right, y'all, so Makeup by Mario has revealed their new Soft Sculpt Collection. This is part three, in case you missed the first two parts, which I feel like I must have missed part two. I was there for part one. I literally didn't realize that there was part two, probably because it's so boring. Don't come for me on that. It's inspired by Mario's techniques and made super simple and modern for everyday life. There's a sculpt shaping stick that has six shades and it's dual ended and I hate dual ended products. I'm gonna say it right now, I hate them. I, I, I just do. I am the person who hates dual ended products. I don't even like a double sided D. You know what I'm saying? This is just like a lot of stuff. It's a, so it's a, it's a lot of stuff and I, like the packaging is so boring and I feel like it's not commiserate with the price. Does that make sense? Like $28 and I don't feel like it's worth $28. I feel like these products exist already. It's nothing new. Like there's bronzer, but there's like six shades of bronzers. I, like, I, mm, I, mm, I just... The bronzers don't even like hit the points. Like I do, like there is a bronzer, it looks like for me, which is like their dark deep. But here's the problem with this shade. And this is one, one of the reasons why I highly encourage if you are a person with deep skin, that you go to Midas, that you go to Juvia's Place, that you go to Prime Beauty, that you go to Mented uh, for bronzers, even Kosas, because not everyone wants like not everyone who is deep skin wants red in their bronzer. I love a red in my bronzer, right? I'm deep skinned. I, I don't mind. I like having a red. I have it now. I also have like a deeper tone underneath the red, right? I, I went ham today with the makeup. I don't want to hear any shit, but like, <laughs> but I went ham. I went ham. But like the thing is, I love the red because honestly, like not having been out in the sun for like regularly for a year, like no summer activities and all of that shit, like my skin tone kind of dialed down. Like a lot of the brown that I had in my skin is like not there. So it's like, I love the red because it kind of gives me like this glowy, like, like I just look like I just came in from outside. But everybody doesn't like that, and I feel like this is a very red bronzer to be for dark deep. I know plenty of people that would be in that range that would not enjoy the red. I know a lot of people who like it to be like deeper, like some people like more of a, like more harsh or more brown tonality to it, and that just isn't doing it. I feel like the, the undertones for a lot of these bronzers just aren't there. Like I feel like all of them have like red and kind of like a red peachy undertone. That's it. And I don't, like, ugh, I just, ooh, don't release bronzers if you ain't ready, boo. It's okay. It's okay. But I feel like this whole collection as a whole, in my opinion, I can't say it any other way sometimes. It's like, yes, give us nothing. Because I get that they're a new brand. I get it. Like, they're trying to, like, come into the market or whatever. But I just feel like in today's climate, when you are trying to come in as a new brand, I feel like there's a level of you, you have to give us something new. You have to give us something we haven't seen before. You have to like hype up the packaging. Like something has to make me want it. This reminds me of House Labs and how I'm just so bored. So yeah, I, I'm not, I will not be picking up anything from that. And yes, <laughs> give us nothing. <laughs> All right, y'all, we don't have any pictures of what it's gonna be, but y'all's ponytail princess has come out that saying that they're gonna have a brand, God is a woman, 
Ariana Grande, who, if you did not know, is in fact a white woman. We don't know anything about it. We don't know what it's gonna look like, but it's just another celebrity brand coming out and it's her being like, uh, uh, didn't she just recently get married? I feel like she just got married. We're gonna go with the S. I feel like I saw that somewhere. And now there's a Mr. Ponytail. All right, congrats to you, Ponytail. And we're gonna go ahead and just call this a new, a new celeb new influencer brand celeb brand y'all i'm not even drunk i just can't make the words and also the light is fucking killing me i'm gonna change the light setting and i'm gonna put on my spectacles so i will be our okay. honestly i was being vain and i liked my hair and i just didn't want to like have my headphones fuck up my hair so early there was a lot of vanity going on in this video today. Like I had a bomb ass look and I was just feeling it. So like, let me have that. All right, moving on to our next what product. I don't know why I said it like that. Please don't come for me. Like, we're not gonna talk about it. It was weird. It was very strange. First of all, this marketing is so weird. I do not understand. I like, I was talking to Therese about this. I truly don't understand what they think they're doing when they're like, we've crushed up the product so you can see it. Like there's a level of, I, I don't know what, when I see that where I'm like, I don't know why you did that. Like it doesn't <laughs> make me feel any type of way. But anyhow, Patrick Ta has some shit for us. And I said that just like not the right way. But Patrick Ta has um, the, his first eyeshadow palette, which I am like, if this is it. And it's like, oh, it creates the perfect eye. Here's the thing, how much is this bitch? Let me see, 68 doll hairs. For that price, go pick up a ColourPop palette. It's the same. It's like, I, I know that people are gonna come for me and be mad. I, <sighs> ColourPop has made palettes like this that you can pick up for significantly cheaper. I can't guarantee whether or not the quality, like this picture of it all like smashed, just like gives me, like it makes, it, I, I feel like my anal glands need to be expressed when I'm looking at this. I don't like it, and I'm sorry I said that, but also no, I'm not. I don't like it. I don't like looking at things in a crushed up way like that. It makes my stomach jiggle. I just don't understand any of this. Like, I literally don't get it. Like, it's like, oh, well, there's like cream. There's two shades that are cream, and they can create contour for your eye again. If, like you, there's so many inexpensive Betty Beige uh, palettes that you can play with. There's so many different Anne palettes you could play with. There's so many different Anne palettes for significantly cheaper and enjoy yourself. And I just don't, I don't get it. There's like the two creams are cream shadows. They can create the most perfect contour for your eyes. And I'm like, uh, y'all are really acting like, I don't know. And a lot of people just kept saying, like, Skylar.ray123 Skylar said, I was kind of interested until I saw the price. And they were like, I pay like 50 for this max, but 68 is a bit, bit much. I feel like a lot, this is it. Almas underscore Ahmed 07, $68 for a neutral eyeshadow palette, bet. Uh, <laughs> I just, I honestly feel like it's a first time palette. And this is something that I really wanna just say out loud. I'm reaching a stage with a lot of brands where it's just like, if this is a first time palette and you didn't like hand press these and I don't know where the fuck it came from, like I just don't wanna pay for it. I know that that sounds whatever the fuck it sounds. That's how I feel. I have reached the stage with, where I'm just like, quit telling me <laughs> that I need to like buy this. Like, did you hand make this? No. Are you hand press? No, I, like I've, I've reached a level where I'm like, I'm willing to pay $60 for, you know, like adapt or varying other like, indie brands because I'm aware of how like the processing was and all of the shit. There's just, and, and they are also tried and true formula. I'm kind of getting a little frustrated and that's just a me thing with brands coming out with their first ever eyeshadow palette, it's never been tested on my eyes. On any, like I can't see it on anybody. And I'm like, you want me to pay almost seventy dollars for this? It's like two dollars shy of seventy dollars. Just make it seventy dollars. Just like stand in it. But like, I just feel like you could really get this 
for a cheaper price and I'm gonna go ahead and call this a product that is a catfish because honestly like if I hadn't known that it was Patrick Ta I really would have thought it was like ColourPop trying to be fancy with their like layout I would have thought it was Re makeup revolution y'all don't come get me I don't want to hear it I, I'm not in the mood I'm not in the mood for that shit listen look at me like hunching further and further away <laughs> All right, so Lancome has decided to release the new Tante Adol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. It's a hydrating, lightweight, full coverage concealer. Listen, I'm probably gonna buy it. Don't. June 14th is when it's available. It's $32. I have the foundation. I. I have this thing kind of where I've started really liking having the foundation and the concealer so I can try them together and then try the, found the concealer with other foundations. Here's why, before you come for me, here's why. Because if you are a person who has more than one foundation for whatever reason, no one's judging you, least of all me, I like to know that a concealer does work with another foundation. Also, because of the fact that even if you don't have multiple foundations, Let's say you splurge and you bought a bougie bitch ass foundation, but now and, and concealer because like they were having a sale or whatever it was. But you're like, you know what? I can't buy this every time. So I like to know that that concealer will work on my like less expensive options. And if it doesn't, then I'm like, it's hot trash and there's no reason to love it. If it only works with its foundation, it's not a good concealer. So. That said, I'm actually, like, I'm probably gonna get it. Like, I know that that is what, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's the Lancome Tante Ol, like, Tante Idol. I wanna call it Taint Idoli. You're welcome, I'm Southern. Uh, so, I am looking forward to, like, being able to pick it up online. I just think it's gonna be, like, I, I love a lightweight concealer. And I like when they say hydrating because when you are as old or older than the Grand Canyon, you want as much hydration in your face as possible. So for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and call it foundation again because really like foundation and um, concealer can be you know, some people use concealer as their foundation. They spot conceal and like that is their foundation. So I'm gonna call it that and you can't actually stop me because I'm over here in the past and you are in this present now, which oop, now it's the past. So good try. All right, so next up we have Dominique Cosmetics bringing out a nourishing and smoothing infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. Um, T silk tone cream blushes so it looks like you have three different ones you have one that's soft pink one that's warm pink peach and one that's neutral rose and then there's a bundle like I'm confused is it is the bundle all three of them together or are there three different palettes let me just look uh, oh I would not pay $55 I would have paid $22 for the whole thing I am does this no that's I thought this model had a diamond or tooth it was just a speckle on my phone we're gonna move forward I am so like y'all I don't want to be that person I really don't actually on most of the skin tones for some reason these shades aren't coming off well they're just not coming off well in my opinion I feel like actually you know what the light and the dark are the two where I'm just like Neither one of these folks would wear them. The tan looks like they could get away with all three shades and they would be living their best life. Like the middle shade is the shade, like I say middle as in color, like tone, tonality. But like if you are light skinned or you like pale or you are deep skinned, like this is not for you. I don't understand how they thought that was a good idea. Um, I'm gonna call it a complexion release with a terrible range and we're just gonna move on because I'm trying not to be like a negative ass Nelly. I don't understand the thought process behind that whole collection and I'm not gonna fight him on it, but like. Ready 
or not, here I come. This is the same shit. I'm so sorry. That was like a really weird intro for like no reason. Okay, so um, the ABH Norvina line has come out with like a purpley palette. It's it's purpley. It's it's purple. I am. What has happened? Who do you think? <laughs> sorry, I have like. You ever get like a sore underneath your tongue, and like you can't find it? And you keep trying to whirl your tongue around, but you realize you have to stick your finger under your tongue to find it. Like you can't whirl your tongue to find what's under your tongue. You have to put. Your, we're gonna move on. I okay. Mostly, my problem with this palette is I feel like they really could have released this without a good chunk of the shades. Like if they wanted to release, it's just Norvina Volume Five. You know, it's a. 25 shade palette. I I don't need that in my life. It's $60. $60. Here's my problem. I feel like almost the entire side of like brown could go. Like just make it purple. Like why are it's cuz it just it doesn't feel it feels like a hodgepodge of sensations happening at once. Like you want it to be lilac, but like also let's throw in a little orange. It just doesn't, like it doesn't have a cohesive feel to it. That's my problem with it. I Like I don't feel like it is, um, like honestly, if they had just kind of done almost like this weird little T-zone, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna like put this up and then I'm gonna like, draw on it something but like this little t-zone and I, that would have been perfect and that's like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine shades perfect palette i would have been like oh i have to buy this it's great you know abh is picking it up instead i just feel like does anybody else feel like it's like Morphe? Like just releasing these huge palettes with like tons of shit in it. It's like throwing it at you, like seeing what sticks. All right, just me. That's fine. That's fine. We don't have to agree. There's no, there is no need for rudeness. Let's, let us move on. Um, and what are we going to call this? I, um, you know what I'm going to call? <laughs> I'm gonna call this a collab product that won't die because the, the Norvina palettes need to go and that is actually Surprisingly Going to give the queen fucking bingo Listen, I am stoked because not only did I get bingo, but I got bingo on the number 13 What? Yes, that was like my 13th little like dab dub, whatever we call them. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you could, please make sure you go check out all of my friends and everybody in the playlist who's also done the new makeup nonsense bingo. And if you want to do new makeup nonsense bingo, please do. The information is in the description box. And once again, as is my face. And as usual, Huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays, yeah. All right, y'all, you know the drill. It costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure it's all coming for yours. And you know what? I'm turning you into a snail. And some strange person who is deranged is going to put salt on you. And that's going to be very unpleasant. Until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Gothic girl. <laughs> greasy and gorgeous. I'm so greasy. Because I'm greasy. Look at him. He's so freaking cute. Oh boy, you're looking like a lack. What you see? Like, hey girl. Are you into girl? Hey, won't you come on and check up on? I'm a happy check up on. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, so, hey girl, are you in the girl? <laughs> Why am I like this? DA4 Dark Umbra, like just give it. Like why? Why are you being like this? Check on me tonight. No, I did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs>